On account of its strong highlights, this would provide us with a lot fuller picture of the world as far as we might be concerned now. An awesome picture at any point seen was simply taken by the James Webb Telescope. Accompany us as we look into the James Webb Telescope and how it could make everything different. How everything started. After the telescope was first recommended in 1996, three gatherings of researchers and engineers from public and private sectors got together to check whether NASA could really construct the telescope. All three groups arrived at a similar resolution. The telescope could be built. In 1997, NASA consented to pay for additional examinations to work on the technical and monetary needs. By 2002, the organization had picked groups to construct the telescope's most significant hardware and an advisory gathering of researchers to assist with the building process. The telescope was formally named the James Webb Space Telescope that very year to honor the former head of NASA who made significant contributions to the development of the Apollo program. When engineers and scientists began building the Webb Telescope in 2004, they needed to come up with new advances and techniques to meet the mission's severe science needs. Space explorers could fix and further develop Hubble while working from Earth, yet Webb would need to do its work from too far away for Earth to help. Notwithstanding these issues, the team wrapped up all 18 mirror pieces and put them through a great deal of tests to ensure they satisfied the guidelines. It was at last conceivable to picture the telescope going into space and taking care of its business. The James Webb Space Telescope was constructed and worked from 2012 to 2013. Unique pieces of the telescope were being built in different places all over the planet. Building began on Webb's sunshield layers in 2013. These layers safeguard the telescope from too much intensity and let it function admirably in space. Over the course of the following couple of years, Webb's unique science instruments were put through extreme tests with high temperatures and shaking. Simultaneously, the telescope's 18 separate mirrors were painstakingly put on its back plane. These parts were assembled and tested at NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. In 2017, the telescope and its gear likewise went through one last round of environmental tests in an immense warm vacuum chamber to ensure they would work appropriately when placed into space. Webb was at last sent into space around Earth on December 25, 2021, at 7.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So how does the telescope truly work? Individuals frequently make space travel sound excessively simple, so when you first find out about it, it could seem like just another camera. That is not the case. It's totally different, which is the reason it took so long to get from thought to launch day. The James Webb Telescope is a powerful telescope made to look at things in space that are too cool or faint for normal telescopes to see. These are things like stars, galaxies, and planets that are just beginning to form. The telescope is intended to detect infrared light, which is what these faraway celestial bodies use to radiate the majority of their heat. This allows us to learn more about these things. Infrared light can't get past gas and dust, which makes it look murky to our eyes. Webb, on the other hand, can see ultraviolet radiation as well as visible light and infrared radiation. This allows it to take pictures of things that are hidden by dust and gas, providing us with a better view of things occurring far away in the universe. It is likewise possible to study the properties of things on Earth, like their chemical composition and temperature, using infrared light. So, infrared light is valuable in a lot of areas of physics, science, and innovation. It can help us get more familiar with how stars, galaxies, and other cosmic objects are assembled, as well as how they change over time. It can additionally be used to find signs of chemical contamination in our environment. The telescope has a major assortment of reflective, imaging, and spectroscopy instruments and cutting-edge thermal control systems that allow it to operate in harsh conditions like space. This is crucial because this camera is designed to go into space by itself. It must be built to handle anything out there without any assistance. After the telescope was launched into space and separated from its launch vehicle, it unfurled and began its long journey to its destination, going through a complex series of steps. There were a few significant stages in this process, such as crossing the moon and separating into different pieces. The telescope became one of the most useful assets of its kind as soon as it was fully set up. How it got to space. Let's take a look at the steps this noteworthy telescope took to get into space before we discuss why it was so significant. The launch was the first thing that had to be done. The solar array was set up after the launch. 
Two unique beds were deployed on the third day of the journey while the spacecraft was still inside the capsule. The major sun shields for Webb were stored on these cases. These shields keep the telescope cool and allow it to operate properly in space. The placement of these shields was crucial for ensuring that the camera could function admirably. During its journey, on the fourth day, the tower that held the instrument package was moved to its final location and assembled. There were a lot of complex steps in this process, but everything went smoothly due to how the telescope is assembled. The speed fold was then raised. The sun's tension works on the large sun shield, creating a force that keeps the telescope stable. Next was the deployment of the sun shield layer cover, which revealed the tennis court sized sun shields. After everything was set up, the sun shield and mid baffle were deployed. The five pieces of the sun shield were then pulled apart. But this isn't the end. When the James Webb telescope was put into space, it had to go through a number of significant steps. The secondary mirror and a frame to keep the smaller mirror in place were set up on day 10. The primary mirror wings were then extended out on day 13, which gave the telescope its final shape. After these steps were completed, the telescope was ready to start its job of observing stars and planets far away. What is the real point? What's fascinating about the James Webb Telescope is that it wasn't just made to do one thing. A lot of things are meant to be tackled by it. Let's delve into this further by traveling back into the past. Researchers like Daniel Einstein, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, can use telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope to travel back into the past and see galaxies when they were just beginning to form. Light travels slowly, so a planet that is far away looks older than it actually is. The telescope can look at the early history of galaxies to learn about how they formed and how they changed over time. Since it can see galaxies so far away, researchers like Einstein can get a full picture of how galaxies form and change over time by observing different galaxies at various stages of development. Webb is excellent for studying distant galaxies because it can see infrared light. The universe is expanding, which stretches the light from these galaxies over time, changing it from visible or ultraviolet to infrared. Webb is great at detecting infrared signals because it is large and cold, allowing it to see much farther into space than other telescopes. This enables it to observe galaxies as they evolve and take pictures of how they change over time. We can study how galaxies form and evolve thanks to Webb, helping us understand the universe better. Studying how stars form. Stars are born from dense clouds of gas and dust called stellar nurseries. Since these clouds are so thick, visible light can't penetrate them, making it difficult for scientists to study these areas using traditional optics. However, infrared light can penetrate the dusty clouds more effectively than visible light. This allows scientists to see into the heart of these star-forming regions in a way that other researchers cannot. Because the Webb telescope can see infrared light, scientists will be able to study these regions in much more detail than before. An infrared astronomer at the University of Arizona named Maria is the principal investigator of one of Webb's cameras. She says this is because red light has a longer wavelength and can pass through the dust in our air better than blue light. Additionally, Infrared light can penetrate dusty regions of space better than visible light. Due to this effect, the sun looks redder at night than during the day. Since Webb can see infrared light better, Hubble has only been able to study the surface-level development of stars. The wider range of infrared bands on Webb will allow scientists to see further into the dust and learn more about how stars are born and evolve. Studying black holes. It's difficult to see black holes because they can trap light, making them some of the most mysterious objects in the universe. However, we can observe how black holes influence the stars and galaxies around them. Scientists have studied various aspects of black holes using telescopes like X-ray telescopes. For example, they have examined how the intense destruction of nearby stars heats up and energizes the region around black holes. With the launch of NASA's Webb Telescope, its infrared capabilities will allow scientists to learn more about black holes. They can study the cooler gases and stars that swirl around black holes, revealing more about these enigmatic objects and the complex physics occurring near them. Researchers are still studying black holes, even though they are not directly visible. They will continue to be a significant area of study in the future as well. Observing exoplanets. When you look at stars in dense, 
dusty parts of space, studying them can be challenging. This is why we need telescopes like Webb. Optical telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope cannot overcome these obstacles. The cool thing about Webb is that it can capture the light emitted by the stars themselves, even through dust clouds. This means that scientists can use the telescope to examine parts of space that are currently obscured. The James Webb Space Telescope can capture and analyze light from stars that are blocked by gas and dust. This will help researchers learn more about the stars and their properties. They will be able to investigate the structure and composition of stars and understand how they are formed and how they change over time. Thanks to the new data, scientists will be able to observe stars in ways they haven't been able to before due to Webb's ability to capture infrared light. Exoplanets are planets that orbit stars other than our own. This will help us determine whether or not life could exist elsewhere in the universe. Researchers struggle with finding exoplanets because they are small and emit very little light compared to the stars they orbit. Additionally, they are often obscured by the glare of their host stars, making them difficult to detect with conventional telescopes. Researchers can use various methods to find exoplanets and learn about their atmospheres, which are utilized by the Webb telescope. By observing how a planet's light diminishes when it passes in front of its host star, Researchers can determine its size, mass, and temperature. Spectroscopy can be used to analyze what is present in the planet's atmosphere. To find smaller planets, we have already discovered many large ones. The telescope excels at finding smaller planets as well. Astronomers will be able to study a wide range of planets, including those that are smaller and closer in size to Earth. With the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers will be able to study these smaller planets and their environments using the telescope's advanced instruments. This will provide a better understanding of whether these planets could support life. Studying exoplanet atmospheres. Observing how light from a star passes through the atmosphere of an exoplanet is an important way to learn about it. When light passes through the atmosphere of an exoplanet, it leaves behind patterns that scientists can study to determine the chemical composition of the atmosphere. This is particularly useful for detecting the presence of water, which is essential for life. Webb's high-sensitivity cameras will make it easier to detect these patterns, allowing scientists to learn more about exoplanet atmospheres. They will be able to study the history and condition of exoplanet atmospheres thanks to the telescope. Webb can also observe how light changes when an exoplanet passes in front of its host star. This method can be used to determine the size of the planet and whether it has any moons or rings. All of this data will help scientists learn more about exoplanets and determine if they have the right conditions for life. Studying planetary systems. Researchers can study how planets form and evolve over time by understanding how exoplanets work. Webb's observations of exoplanets can help us understand how our own solar system formed and how it functions. They can also shed light on how planetary systems form and evolve over time. This will make it easier for scientists to study exoplanets and help them find ones that might support life. Webb's advanced technology will make it simpler to learn about smaller planets and their environments, which will help in finding planets that could potentially support life. These include near-infrared spectrometers used to measure the chemical composition of planets, mid-infrared cameras, and spectrographs used to gauge the thermal properties of planets. These instruments will allow scientists to learn more about the atmospheres and surfaces of exoplanets, which will aid in understanding their history and development.